Hi, my name is Greg Bilbo. I'm with Abtech Valves. Uh, you most likely have been sent this video from one of my representatives uh, across the United States. So I wanted to first and foremost thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We understand that uh, times are changing. This uh, COVID-19 outbreak is a little interesting for all of us, but we just wanted to make sure that you still had an opportunity to learn about maybe new products that you didn't know about or uh, other items that are out there. So uh, hopefully you find this informative and useful and you can go ahead and pass it on to maybe others in the office who might be interested in this product as well. So hopefully my representatives reached out to you and told you a little bit about our product. Uh, we do offer a double eccentric butterfly valve and double eccentric butterfly valves are a little bit different than your standard butterfly valve. And we'll go into some of those details with you on really what they're used for. Most municipalities, when they first get into a double eccentric butterfly valve, they start using it as a critical service butterfly valve. And so uh, in this application, I want you to think about different critical service applications, meaning if something happens and you absolutely need to isolate the line, you can count on this valve. Too many times I talk to water operators and individuals who really would love to have a butterfly valve uh, in the system because it's smaller lay leg, uh, they're easier to, to work with, but the problem is they find that they just leak. And so they have a lot of problems, they leak, they stick, they have a lot of different issues with butterfly valves to where there's a lot of cities who actually say, we don't even like butterfly valves anymore. So if you're feeling that way, there is hope. We do have a great butterfly valve uh, that has fantastic uh, life, it has fantastic usage, it's going to work better than any other butterfly valve that you've had. Um, originally and, and in the beginning, uh, this is kind of the standard butterfly valve that you would see in the AWWA C504 market. It's going to be a single offset or a zero offset butterfly valve. Zero offset meaning that there is no offset of the disc to the stem to the body itself. So there are zero offsets. The valve is going to seat in the center of the valve body and it's going to sit, seat in the, in the center of the rubber seat. The problem with this is, is when that valve goes into the closed position, it has to move and displace the rubber on the body in order for the valve to close fully. Over time, as you continually exercise that valve, open and close, open and close, you're rubbing and wearing that out. With a standard single offset butterfly valve, the problem with this is, is when the valve is in the open position, you have those two pieces of rubber that are being compressed against the valve body. So you have the disc in the open position, then you have the compression of the seat. So what that does is that compression set or the seat set creates a deformation in the rubber. And then when the valve goes closed, because that rubber has a memory, it's going to have two leak paths where now water leaks by. And so most people who say they don't like butterfly valves because they leak, this is what they're talking about. Occasionally we do get people who tell us that their butterfly valves leak out of the packing glands, and we'll talk about that issue here in just a moment. But typically when people talk about their valves leaking by, it's due to something like this. We also see that the seats fail over time when it's a seat in body design. The seat in body design, um, is a, it's a good design, but the problem with most all seat and body design valves is they're throwaway valves. They're designed so that when that seat goes out, you throw it away and you buy a new valve. For me, I look at that a lot like a, a vehicle. If I were to go and buy a brand new vehicle, drive it off the lot, and as I'm leaving the lot, the dealer says, hey, and by the way, in 20,000 miles, when those tires wear out, come back and we'll get you a new truck. Essentially, that's what they're saying, is they're saying that when this little piece of rubber wears out, you need to go and get a brand new truck. You need to go get a brand new butterfly valve because they're not designed from the beginning to be repairable. With this design over here, it's usually in a larger diameter butterfly valve that they only use a very small piece of rubber in the body and it's epoxied in or glued in. So they put a glue onto the iron and they anticipate and hope that it will last. The problem is, is if you get into higher velocity, say higher than 16 feet per second, now it runs the possibility of that seat being sucked out. Let me ask you this, if you have a pipe break in your system, do you think you get higher than 16 feet velocity? You probably do. You're probably pushing 20, 25, 30 feet per second velocity. So what that means is all of your standard butterfly valves that you have in your system 
None of them are rated for faster velocity than 16 feet per second. Because of the design of ours, we guarantee closure up to 50 feet per second, depending on the pressure. As the pressure continues to decrease, the velocity rating increases. So by the time we get to 50 feet per second, as long as you don't have higher than 12 and a half PSI, which if you're running at 50 feet per second, you don't, you'll be okay and we guarantee the valve will close. The wetted shaft. On a standard butterfly valve, they require a wetted shaft. So you have your packing glands and the packing glands then are pushing and keeping the water in uh, rather than letting the water leak out. The problem is, is these packing glands over time will leak. What that means is that you're gonna have valves that are leaking water out into the, uh, out into the dirt. Uh, you'll also have valves that the packing glands, because the way that packing glands are designed, they have to be lubricated by the water inside the pipeline. So, and I'll, I'll do another video about the difference of packing glands versus O-rings uh, here. It, uh, my representative can send to you. But what happens is you have to expose the disc hub area to the water. And so what that does is it means that because it's exposed and it's uncoated, it's going to corrode. So your o &M manuals on a standard AWWA C504 butterfly valve are all going to tell you that you need to exercise the valve every six months at a minimum. Um, on our double eccentric butterfly valves, we do offer a couple of different options on these. Um, the, the, this valve here on my left is a AWWA compliant valve. It meets all of the AWWA lay lengths, testing requirements, flange thickness, shell thickness, everything that you would need on the AWWA. On this one, it matches the AWWA C519, which is the new high pressure, double eccentric uh, butterfly valve specification. So if we get into pressures higher than 250 PSI, this is the design that we're gonna go to be in compliance with that C519 specification. As a reminder, the standard design, you didn't need to push the disc through that seat and, and, and essentially rub and wear this seat in order to get it closed. Whereas on the double offset design, it has two offsets. The first primary offset is going to be the seat in the body is offset from the center line of the discs, or of the valve body, excuse me. So you can see this would be about the center line. We offset the body seat to the front side of the, the body. The second offset is we put the stem on the back side of the disc. So what that does is it makes it so that when that valve is in the open position, you can fit a business card in it. So if I were to take my business card, put it through, you can see that that business card fits in when the valve's in the open position, showing you there's no touching or rubbing. So that means you're not getting that deformation of the seat or the seat set. It simply can stay open for extended period of times indefinitely and never get that seat set or the deformation of the seat. Really gives you a big advantage when you're having a butterfly valve that's going to stay open for extended periods of time, which is typically what butterfly valves do. Again, the AWWA standard allows for a, a rubber seat on the body. We've just found that there's not a good way to allow a rubber seat on the body that can allow for the velocities that you may need in your water system in the event of a pipe break. So instead of doing a rubber seat on the body, we do a welded seat. So we have a nickel chrome 316L double overlay weld. I'm not sure if you can see this uh, picture very well, but there are two beads of weld on the valve body itself. Those two beads of weld are then machined, finished by a, by a machine, uh, a, uh, a robot machine, I guess you could say, and then micro finish to be able to make sure you have a perfect smooth seat every single time. Um, then what we do is we put the rubber seat on the disc. It's retained in with a 316 stainless steel retaining ring. A lot of the reason we do this is just for the ease of operation and for your maintenance. If you ever need to replace this seat, and we do recommend doing that approximately every 25 years, you simply take off the Allen screws here, you pull the retaining ring off, you put a new receipt on, and you're back in business. It should take a little less than an hour in order to accomplish this, almost regardless of the size of valve that you have. Um, this is a, a video clip of one that I found on YouTube from one of the major manufacturers showing how to repair their seat. Um, it is not an easy process. You have to have a pressure pot, um, tubing, a special epoxy, um, several days down in order to do that. It's a big difference when you go several days versus several minutes in order to replace our seat. One other area that we upgrade is we upgrade to a 2205 duplex stainless steel shaft. 
The reason we use a 2205 duplex stainless steel is so that we can um, have it be stronger than 316 stainless steel. It's also more uh, corrosion resistant than 316 stainless steel. And then we don't have the problems with chloride stress cracking. In the municipal water systems, there's a lot of chloride and chlorine, chlorine going in the water. And so with that comes chloride stress cracking. And so if you were to put a chlorine injector right next to a valve, you're gonna have a lot of problems. With our valve, because you have the uh, 2205 duplex stainless steel shaft, it really extends the life on that shaft, which is obviously the critical point of the valve, because that's what opens and closes the valve. Also, the disc hub. Again, you remember the V-type packing that's used on a standard butterfly valve. We don't use a V-type packing. Uh, packing. We use a series of eight O-ring seals. So from this side down and on both sides, we have a total of eight O-rings on both sides, total of 16. If we include the O-rings that are behind the pins that hold the shaft on, that would actually give us 10 O-rings, minimum of 10 O-rings on both sides. What this does is it means that that shaft area doesn't get wet. When it doesn't get wet, it doesn't corrode. When it doesn't corrode, the valve doesn't stick, which means you don't have to exercise these valves in order to get them to be able to operate 10, 15, 20 years down the road, they're still going to operate. It's a major advantage on this valve. We also always use a standard fusion bonded epoxy. Fusion bonded epoxy in and out to make sure you get a long, long life out of your butterfly valves. Make sure that it always comes off of the factory floor looking perfect. Obviously NSF 61 certified. The entire assembly is NSF 61 certified so you don't have to worry about it with your drinking water. Again, to qualify this, this is, uh, I don't know how clearly you can see this, but I'll run through this. This is um, just a graph of side by side if you specify a standard AWWA C504 valve. If that's the extent of your valve information, or if it's a Abtec double eccentric butterfly valves. This is a side by side on what you're going to get. Now, let me also qualify that the C504 butterfly valve companies can go higher quality than this. However, unless it's in the specification because everything is so price driven, they're not going to do it. They're going to go to the bare minimum, lowest quality they possibly can get. And if all you say is C504, this is most likely what you're going to get. So on a C504 butterfly valve, you're going to have a cast iron body. You're going to have the double eccentric, you're going to have a ductile iron body. On a C504 butterfly valve, you're going to have an epoxy internal lining, and probably you're just going to have a primer coating on the exterior. On the double eccentric butterfly valve, you're going to have fusion bonded epoxy in and out. The C504, you'll have a 304 stainless steel shaft. With ours, as I mentioned before, you'll have a 2205 duplex shaft. On the C504, depending on the manufacturer who's low bid, you may end up having a seat on body or a seat on disc. And on ours, you always have a seat on disc with a 316 stainless steel retaining ring. The uh, disc and the body are going to compress on the EPDM seat on a C504 valve. That's just the nature of the valve. It's the way it's designed, that's the way it works. Whereas on ours, the disc and the body do not touch when in the open position. C504 valves almost exclusively that I've seen come with the V-type packing, whereas ours come with the eight O-ring seal. Um, one thing on a C504 valve, because of those packing glands, if you ever have to remove the gearbox when the pipeline is under pressure, you can't do that because the packing gland will come shooting out and everything gets wet. So in order to even remove the gearbox, you have to completely isolate the line upstream from the butterfly valve and then you have to dewater the pipeline in order to pull that gear off. With ours, we've got a front cover that keeps everything together so that you could remove the gear under pressure. We always wanna do that with the valve in the closed position, but you can do that with the pipeline being under uh, pressure with the valve in the closed position. Standard C504 valves are gonna be rated at 150 PSI. Ours is rated at 250 PSI in both directions. So it's 250 PSI bi-directional. And then the standard C504 butterfly valve manufacturers offer a one year manufacturer defect warranty, whereas Aftec actually offers the only leak free guarantee that I'm aware of, and ours is a three year leak free guarantee. So, in a nutshell, uh, we do offer a double offset, non rubbing, non touching design, a 316 welded seat, 2205 duplex stainless steel shaft, the non wetted disc cup 
fusion bond and epoxy. And there really is a long-term cost savings. Our valves do end up costing a little bit more in the beginning, but the longevity and the life of these valves really make it in the long run, you're saving a lot of money on this. Really, we wanna make sure that you've got the confidence in your valves, that they're actually going to fully isolate when you need them. There's nothing worse than having an emergency and then the valve doesn't work. It's just like we're seeing right now with the COVID-19. There's so many things that are just kind of following apart and not working as they're supposed to be working. We've got full confidence in our butterfly valve that it will work when you need it to work, period. So really, again, we just wanted to take a couple of minutes of your time. We thank you for watching this video. We hope that you have some additional questions. I am going to be recording some additional videos, so talk to the representative that reached out to you. See if any of the future videos I have touch on the topic that you have questions on. If not, let's get on a conference call, me and you and my representative, and let's talk about maybe the applications you have. Um, most importantly, these valves are readily available. Um, they're moving quickly, but currently I have inventory on six inch through 42 inch valves. We can get you your valves quickly. We can certainly take care of you. I look forward to hearing from you and thank you so much for your time.